All right, guys, today I'm gonna show you how to turn on the Bushalanga shift light on a Gen 2 Hayabusa. That one right there. I'm gonna show you how to activate that. Okay, we got three modes, light on, and then we have blinking light, and then no light. So I wanna go with blinking light. Okay, so to do this, you press the select button, and then you turn the key on, and you continue to hold that button for more than two seconds. After that, you hit the adjust button to go through those three modes that I told you. So here we go. Select button, key on, Okay, now I'm gonna hit the adjust. That's light on. That's blinking light, so that's what I want. I'm gonna hit select. Now, I can select the RPM where I want the light to go on. So it's at 10,000, I'm gonna go to the maximum 11,500. Keep hitting adjust. And then select. And you can see it took it because it has that light bulb later there. So on these Gen 2 bikes, the rev limiter is 11,750. So my light is gonna come on at um, 11,500. And I also wanna mention that my button has some issues here ever since I got it after one year actually. It's not making like good contact. So that's why I was pressing it uh, so many times. All right guys, let's go test this out. As you can see, the Zeus light is over there. That means that it's uh, activated. The shift light mode is on so that's a good sign so let's hit the highway now and um give the bike a little pull okay here we go baby Okay, it works. Man, I didn't ride the bike for like two or three weeks because it got cold, but today it's like a summer day, so I was like, let me do this video. I've been thinking about this for a while because it's hard to pay attention to the cars when you're going fast, you know, it's hard to pay attention to the cars, uh, the cops, whatever. There's a lot of things going on, so sometimes I can't monitor the RPM. So when I see the shift light, boom, I shift now. And like I mentioned before, you can adjust at what RPM range you want the, the light to go on. I like to have it at the maximum, 11.5, because um, that's when I need it the most. So there's no sense to shift at um, 9,000 or 10,000. I want to have the maximum HP when I shift. Alright guys, that's all I have uh, today for you. It was a quickie one, but a nice one. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna give you a nice tip on how to loop your chain without making a mess while, while you do it. Not when you ride it, because when you ride it, if you put too much, it's gonna fly off, obviously. Alright, see you in the next one.